So I thought I'd just do a quick review and tear down of these little AC panel meters that I got recently. Uh, they come in a little box like that. They're called digital panel lights. <laughs> uh, I've got a blue one and a green one. And they show voltage and current. And just, just to see what they look like, I'll turn them on. And they're, they're quite bright, pretty displays. And they have a circular mounting hole, and I'll just measure that. 20 millimeters that way, and 21 millimeters that way. So there's a, there's a flat spot to stop it rotating. And they use current transformers, so you just stick the voltage to run the meter in there, the mains voltage, and to sense the current, you have a current transformer like that. I'll just connect this green one and we'll just play with the blue one. Alright, so I'm running it uh, from the Variac and then also into this dummy load uh, to measure the, to check out the current sensing. So we'll just bring the voltage up and we'll see that it they don't work till about well, it comes on pretty early, doesn't it? Only 20 volts coming in. The side of the box says 50 to, 50 to 500 volts, 0 to 100 amps. Uh, so certainly at 50 volts, it's working. And voltage measurement, pretty much in agreement. Disconnect the load and 91, 91, 90, pretty close, go a bit, a bit higher, 150 volts from the Variac, 149, 150, so the, the, the voltage is a tad low, the reading, so let's go all the way to 240. Going a bit low there, 4 volts low, this one agree, these 2 metres agree. Um, now let's give it some load, I'll turn on a 75 watt lamp, drawing 3.3, these two current metres don't fully agree but it's of the order of 0.3 of an amp and this is showing nothing. So I'll screw in the 150 watt lamp, that takes it up to 0.97 and now it shows. And you'll see that I'll, I'll drop the voltage down below about 0.6 and take it a bit lower and the 0.6, see how it's flashing on and off, 0 is 0.6. So, and that's with something like 0.7 or 0.8 actual current. So, yeah, these things don't work unless they've got at least... 700 milliamps, 800 milliamps running into them, and then they're not very accurate. So that's a bit disappointing. Let's make it go to one amp by the Variac. And it's only saying 0.8. Then again, so is this, or it's saying 0.9. So a bit of discrepancy. So maybe these things are only good at higher currents, even though it says 0 to 100 amps, uh, but given that it does go to 100 amps, it's obviously intended for or suited to a higher current situation. So I've got this toaster oven contraption, which is about 1200 watts. Toaster oven. I can add him to the load by switching this on here. And I'll turn on one element. And now we've got a bit more current 3.2 or 3.5 or 2.9. I don't know which of these is accurate, but certainly this is reading lower than the other two. 
and if I turn on a bit more well this one should be sorry in that position it should be 1100 watts at 240 volts so let's take it to 240 It's saying 1400 watts, he's saying 1200. Don't know which one to believe, uh, but once again, this one is certainly reading low. And I'll check the green one as well, it, it reads about the same as this one, and it doesn't matter which current transformer I use, it's they're about the same as each other and different to these, reading lower. 1500 watts, 1300 watts, yeah. 5.7 amps, 6.3 amps, 5.2 amps, which one do you believe? I'll have to uh, come up with a definitive measurement and get, a, get a, a resistor, measure it accurately and then watch the voltage drop across it with a 2 RMS meter to get an accurate idea of current so I can work out which one of these is wrong. But okay, assuming these aren't too bad, and I think they're not, I think this is the problem. This is one. This one is more wrong than the other two. Uh, let's have a look inside and see if there's any way we can do something about its uh, propensity to read a bit low. Now I've opened up the green one a bit. This unclips. Then you can undo those two screws, remove those two plates that they go into, and there's these two tangs which connect to those and. They solder to a couple of leads sticking up here. So if you desolder those, then you can and you can take the front off. And with those desoldered from the leads, you can pull this through. And you can see we've got two resistors, which is what those things solder onto. One of them is soldered to this capacitor, which I presume is to supply power to run the meter and the resistors, the other function of the resistors is to do with sensing the voltage. Should we try and have a look and see what chips are in there? I'll try and get the part number of that chip, but there's, apart from the two resistors and capacitors, there's an electrolytic and seems to be one chip and a small number of SMD parts. Importantly would be this one here the current transformer goes to this burden resistor here, which is a, a largest one, and it's a 10R0, a 10 ohm resistor. So I'm thinking what you might be able to do is uh, perhaps change that for a, a 12 ohm resistor and put a trim pot in parallel across it and adjust it till the current reading is correct. But I'm going to have to come up with a definitive way of measuring the current to refer that to, uh, which will be another time. <clears throat> I'll try just try and read that chip. So here's a close-up of the PCB. I cannot make out any markings on that main chip. Um, and these two resistors here. The this one here is 56 ohms and this one 2 meg 2.2 meg 470 microfarad 16 volt electrolytic and 564 so it's nanofarads 560 nanofarads 0.56 0.56 microfarad capacitor there and yes so there you go and on the front just some LEDs, not much to see. Mm. Quite cute. It'd be, be nice if they worked at lower currents. I've also got this guy, which also uses a current transformer, but it does work down to lower currents, and it also shows power, energy, and power factor. But then that's three times the price of these things. So, uh, yeah, I'll turn them on again, just for fun. So there, there's this one without the cover over it, which improves the contrast a little. Um, yeah, 
Pity they don't work at lower voltage, uh, lower currents, but for five dollars, if you've got a load that's guaranteed to be a few amps, I guess they're of some use, especially if you can trim up the uh, current sensing to get it more accurate. Uh, yeah, so hope you found that interesting. If you did, give it a, a like and maybe subscribe, and uh, catch you later.